From a mysterious letter written by an ancient Egyptian soldier to a legendary sword that science can't explain, plus a horde of strange Viking weapons found under the ice. Here are 10 of the most mysterious archaeological artifacts recently found. Number 10. Ancient Egyptian Letter An ancient letter from 1800 years ago has recently been deciphered, revealing the dire pleas of a young Egyptian soldier named Aurelius Polion, who researchers believe was likely serving in a Roman legion stationed in Europe. The letter was written primarily in Greek, and the soldier tells his family at home that he's going to request leave from his commander to make the journey back to Egypt. The letter was addressed to his mother, who apparently was a bread seller, his sister, and his brother. The man goes on to say in his letter that he is worried for their safety because he wrote them letters often, but they never wrote back to him. He claims to have written six letters to his family without a single response. Yeah, this is a pretty sad ancient discovery. The soldier just really missed his family. The letter itself was found outside a small temple in the ancient Egyptian town of Teptunis more than 100 years ago, but it wasn't until recently that a doctoral candidate at Rice University took the time to actually translate the letter, which was written on papyrus. Unfortunately, we don't know the fate of this ancient Egyptian soldier, but it's safe to say that even if he was reunited with his family, things probably got a bit tense. Number 9. The Sword and the Stone I'm sure you've heard the story of King Arthur pulling the sword from the stone. This is beyond doubt nothing more than a legend. And yet there is a sword that is just as legendary, located in the Montesiepi Chapel in Tuscany, and nobody quite knows how it got there. Legend states that in 1148, a man named Galgano Guidotti was born. Then in 1180, after a long life as a rich knight, the archangel Michael appeared to him in a vision, saying that he needed to renounce his worldly possessions. Guidotti said back to Michael that it would be as hard as a thing to do as splitting stone, and to prove his point, thrusted his sword into a hunk of stone. Amazingly, the sword split the stone and became stuck. Of course, this was just a vision, but afterward, Guidotti was led to the hilltop, which he had seen in his vision, and there he found a large rock. He wanted to plant a cross here and used his sword to do it by plunging it into the rock. A year later, Guidotti died and was declared a saint, and the Montesiepi Chapel was built around the sword and the stone. No one knows which part of the story is actually true and which part of the story is made up, but the stone is definitely still there with the sword in it today. Recent studies on the sword even showed it to be consistent with the legend, with an analysis of the metal clarifying that it came from somewhere in the late 1100s or the early 1200s. What do you think? Do you believe Guidotti had really thrust his sword into the rock? Number 8. The Mummy with the Golden Tongue Imagine your words are so important that when you die, you're buried with a golden tongue. Archaeologists working at a new burial site in Egypt recently came upon a collection of ancient mummies with golden tongues still shining inside their mouths. This team of archaeologists was led by Kathleen Martinez from the University of Santo Domingo, and they were working at the Taposiris Magna Temple near Alexandria when they found 16 previously undiscovered burial shafts, all of them dating back to the Greek and Roman eras of Egypt. The mummies discovered in the shafts were in a relatively poor state of preservation, but the artifacts discovered along with them were extraordinary. The archaeologists found amulets of gold foil shaped to look like a tongue still in extremely good condition placed inside the mouths of the mummies, which they believe was some sort of ritual to make sure that the dead could speak to the Egyptian god Osiris once they crossed over to the afterlife. The people could have been mute in life, or otherwise afflicted with some condition that made them unable to speak, or perhaps their words were of extreme importance. To rectify this in death, their embalmers made the golden tongues. Hey, real quick, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. A Trove of Treasure In downtown Mexico City, a trove of ancient Aztec artifacts has recently been found, and archaeologists are saying that the artifacts could eventually lead them to a long-lost Aztec emperor's tomb. The artifacts were found just off the steps of one of the more famous temples in Mexico City. Researchers found a collection of flint knives decorated with pearl and other precious stones, along with some sacrificial offerings that are really exciting scientists. They also discovered a sacrificed jaguar that had been dressed as a warrior and a young boy who had been sacrificed and dressed up like the Aztec war god. This was a really big find, and experts are saying that the sacrifices and the artifacts came from somewhere between 1486 and 1502 AD back when the Emperor Ahuitzatl ruled the Aztecs as one of the greatest generals in ancient American history. According to Thomas Cruz, an archaeologist working at the site, the discovery of these artifacts could point to a royal burial. The hope is that as these excavations go on and on, the lost tomb of the Aztec Emperor will reveal itself, hopefully with his body still there. Number 6. The Swimming Reindeer 
The swimming reindeer is the name given to an ancient Magdalenian sculpture of two reindeer swimming. This artifact is about 13,000 years old and it's currently sitting at the British Museum. It was originally made in France and was carved out of an ancient mammoth tusk. The sculpture was first discovered in 1886, but it was actually found in two separate pieces. It wasn't until early in the 20th century that a curious archaeologist realized the two pieces fit together to create one beautiful artifact, showing the two reindeer swimming nose to tail. But you're probably wondering what's so special about the couple of reindeer carved out of mammoth ivory. The truth is that scientists aren't entirely sure what the use for this artifact was, although it was definitely used during the end of the last ice age. It could have been something like a lucky trinket that hunters took with them while hunting for reindeer, or it could have been like a trophy system to mark how many reindeer a hunter killed during any particular outing. The artifact has a series of notches carved into it that could indicate it was used by a very skilled hunter who made many kills. But considering this was back when the world was covered in ice, most of what archaeologists say is really just speculation. Number 5. The Olmec Jade Mask The Olmec Jade Mask is yet another beautiful artifact found in southern Mexico near the coastal area of Chiapas. This is a jadeite mask crafted from people belonging to the Olmec civilization sometime between the 10th and 6th century BC. And while it definitely won't turn you into a green superhero like when Jim Carrey put on his mask, it's still really exciting. Jade was one of the most valuable stones of ancient Mesoamerica, and to have an entire mask carved from such a precious material proves that the mask belonged to somebody very important. Even though it was shaped to have eyes, ears, and a mouth, there are actually no holes for breathing, which means no one actually wore the mask. It was probably just used for symbolic functions. Some archaeologists believe the mask is a depiction of the Olmec Maiz god, what we might call the god of corn. This was because Maiz was so important to their culture that they created an entire god revolving around their favorite crop. Number 4. The Wedge of Ayud the Wedge of Ayud, also sometimes known as the Object of Ayud, is by far our most controversial artifact today. It's shaped like a wedge, obviously, and it was found about a mile 1.6 kilometers east of the small town of Ayud in Romania, you know, where Count Dracula lives. The wedge was discovered in 1974 beneath 35 feet 10.6 meters of sand and near a pair of mastodon bones. The wedge was then transported to the Archaeological Institute of Cluj-Napoca, where it was examined and found to be made of a special aluminum alloy. And when the layer of oxide on the wedge was measured by experts, they revealed it to be around three or four hundred years old. Here is where the controversy comes in. If this tool was really a wedge used 400 years ago by our ancestors, it doesn't make sense. First, it was supposed to have been found near the remains of a mastodon. Mastodons went extinct before the year 1700. Secondly, the artifact was found to be made of aluminum, and yet aluminum was not discovered until 1808, and it wasn't even produced in any reasonable quantity until 1885. To this day, the Wedge of Ayud is a mysterious artifact that has no place anywhere in history. It left researchers with more questions than they have answers. For this reason, it's almost entirely ignored by mainstream science. Number 3. Inca Cemetery Artifacts When farmers living in Ecuador began working on an irrigation water tank, they came upon something totally unexpected. They were shocked when they dug up some ancient human remains and were forced to call an archaeological team because of the significance of what they'd found. And then the archaeological team dug up even more skeletons. These skeletons ended up being about 500 years old, and they were surrounded by some of the strangest artifacts ever found in Ecuador. These artifacts came from the ancient Inca. They would have been buried in the dirt somewhere between 1450 and 1540 AD. Researchers found Inca ceramics, like pitchers and drinking vessels. And according to Esteban Acosta, the guy in charge of the whole operation, some of the artifacts were adorned with Christian crosses, a decoration that's never before been found on an Inca artifact. That means that everything found in this burial site probably came from a time of transition, when the Spanish colonials had invaded South America and were in the process of destroying the indigenous cultures, forcing their own beliefs onto them, and having such a dramatic impact that the Inca apparently started incorporating Christian crosses into their own traditional designs. Number 2. Terracotta Figurines An amazing new archaeological discovery in Turkey has resulted in the uncovering of dozens of gorgeous terracotta figurines that depict everything from ancient animals to Greek gods, and even a few mortal men and women. According to the Greek reporter, these artifacts are over 2,000 years old. They were discovered in the ancient town of Mira, which the locals call Demra. What's really incredible is that some of these figurines still had paint on them even after all this time. Others had inscriptions, and all of them were quite detailed with sharp facial features. The figurines were discovered during an archaeological team's investigation of a 4th century Roman theater in 2020. 
It was during the excavation that they found a second, smaller theater below the first one. The secondary structure ended up dating back to 323 BC, near the time of Alexander the Great's death and just at the cusp of the birth of the Roman Empire. It's unclear what exactly the figures were used for. They could have been a part of an ancient game of Monopoly, or they simply could have been cool trinkets sold by the old theater to rich tourists. Number 1. Ancient Viking Artifacts Under the Ice Melting ice in Norway revealed hundreds of amazing ancient Viking artifacts. As the climate warms and much of the frost and ice in Europe melts, more and more amazing things are being found. This particular trove consisted of 800 various Viking artifacts, which had all been frozen in an icy mountain pass for over 1,000 years. This pass would have been a very important route in a trade network of Viking merchants, transporting goods like cheese and reindeer pelts between farms. What's truly fascinating is that we get to see that these Vikings were truly some of the first globalists. They sourced raw material from all over Europe and had special routes that they would use to transport the goods from one area to another, thereby keeping themselves healthy and wealthy. On the side of the mountain slopes, archaeologists found weapons, arrowheads, horseshoes, walking sticks, a tunic, and even a random leather shoe, all indicative of some serious Viking traffic across Norway. Have you ever found an ancient artifact while out exploring? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for even more amazing videos right here on American Eye.